Send your math or physics questions to mathfornoobs.com at gmail.com. A cylindrical fishing reel has a moment of inertia blah and radius blah. A friction clutch on the reel exerts a restraining torque of blah if a fish pulls on the line. The fisherman gets a bite and the reel begins to spin with the angular acceleration of blah. Part A asks for the force exerted by the fish on the line. To start this problem, we should draw a free body diagram showing the known and unknown variables as well as all vectors involved. We can express the torque of the fish as the product of the force of the fish times the radius. Next, we put a green check mark next to everything that's given numerically, and we circle in blue that which we're looking for. Now, given this diagram and these variables, the equations that come to mind are the net torque is equal to tau 1 plus tau 2 plus tau 3, dot, dot, dot equation, and also the net torque is equal to I alpha equation. So if we write those two equations and set them equal to each other, we'll see that incidentally we have everything that we need except for the unknown variable. So that works out perfectly. We isolate the variable and the physics is done. All that's left is to convert all the uh, numerical values into standard units. So that would be centimeters into meters and to plug and chug. Your final answer is 33.6 newtons and that concludes part A. Part B of the question asks, how much line unwinds in half a second? So our strategy here is going to be to write out all our variables and then look at the variables and be reminded of some equation we can use. Okay. So our variables are the desired delta x and the given time t. Um, we don't have a, but we know that we have alpha and r and we can solve for a. So that's what that looks like. Okay. Green check marks are given values. A uh, green circle is something that's not explicitly given, but we can solve for, so it's almost like a given. And blue circle means that we're looking for it. It's the desired variable. And if you think back to the kinematics equations that you learned at the beginning of Physics 101, probably earlier in the semester, um, the equation that best fits this is going to be delta x is equal to v naught t plus 1 half at squared. v naught is 0 because it starts from rest, and after substitution, you're going to get 1 half alpha r t squared. Plug it in, final answer, 0.33 meters. Uh, reality check, that's about a foot for us Americans out there. So you ask yourself, does a fishing line in half a second travel a foot? Uh, yeah, give or take. Um, now, a common occurrence is you might be taking an exam and you'll get 33 or 330, right? And so you think to yourself, well, that's not realistic. And that's a, that's a good red flag that you probably uh, should go back and check your work.